The city of Albuquerque is eyeing one part of town it thinks could bring in a lot of business, and it's asking for UNM's help in getting it done. Here's News 13's Rachel Knapp. Rachel. Yeah, Jackie, just south of UNM's baseball fields, there's a giant empty lot. UNM had plans to develop that area years ago, but it never happened. Now, the city has an incentive in mind to finally get it done. Along I-25, just north of Gibson, is UNM's south campus. It doesn't have much to offer outside of Isotope Stadium, a tech park, and some student living. There's nothing much to do over here. To change that, Albuquerque City Councilors Isaac Benton and Pat Davis want to bring these deserted lots back to life. The city would get some good development in the area that would help uh, uh, help revitalize and help the neighborhoods in the area more than anything. Councilor Benton tells us the mayor is proposing a so-called tax increment development district with UNM's Lobo development. That means future tax revenues from the stores or buildings that could be going up will help pay back the cost to build them. This would be the first economic development partnership between the city and UNM, but not the first talks of development here. Back in 2012, the Board of Regents signed off on a master plan for the South Campus, showing stores, restaurants, and coffee shops, all things to bring in business. But that never happened. It would bring in like tourists, but also like give a chance, give a space for people to like interact with each other. People we spoke with hope this next go round will finally fill that need. Just more uh, restaurants, just places to go that are campus friendly. UNM tells us since it's a weekend, they couldn't find anyone to explain why those plans from 2012 never panned out and their reaction to this first of its kind partnership. Jackie. Okay, thanks, Rachel. These plans aren't set in stone yet, but city councilors will begin discussing them at tomorrow night's city council meeting.